Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Juan Luna, and today I want to talk about a question I think a lot of people are having, which is, should I keep my PS4 or should I upgrade to the PS5? Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, really, I'm going to try to make this video short because it's really, you know, it really depends on how you look at things. Um, and also what the condition of your PS4 is. If you have a PS4, maybe you have a PS3, man. Like, honestly, I don't clown you for that. Like, you know, I know consoles definitely, some people just don't like upgrading, which it is what it is. Or you just don't have a lot of money, you know, different things like that. And it's understandable, it happens. And, um, but yeah, let's get just into it. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if I can change, maybe change your options, maybe change your opinion on certain things, right? So, it really just depends on one thing, which is um, how decent is your PS4? How old it is, right? How decent does it work? Because, believe it or not, this is a big, big thing. Because if your PS4, let's say it's not, you know, it's it's a bit old. It's like, it's like not release date, but yeah, well, release date to 2015, 2016. I can assume that the PlayStation's obviously going to be, you know, um working a little loud, you know, you definitely need to hear the fans really loud. Um, over time, consoles tend to have problems. Sometimes the disc might not even be reading, you know, you might be having overheating issues, different things like this that just make you get annoyed you know, on your daily use because a console is supposed to be um, a very easy, simple machine. It just plays your games, right? Like, for example, I own a PC. I don't own a PS4, but I know most of the problems. I've, I've seen most of the problems, okay? I've experienced it with friends and many other things like that. But like, for example, as a PC owner, right, I have to keep my rig pretty clean. I mean, you can le let it run as is, but over time you'll see the performance deteriorate dramatically just by dust. Dust gets in fans and then eventually just gets it all into your system. The fans start going slower. It just makes everything worse. And you have to keep that clean to make sure it keeps running optimized and make sure everything runs okay for multiple years so you don't damage your machine. For consoles, dust builds up and eventually over time, you know, the dust, the fan just can't run, the fan might just die on you, and this machine will overheat, which is a pretty not normal thing to happen if you don't clean it, right? Now, in theory, you're, you, you know, you don't think about doing cleaning it because it's a console. It's built so that it's simple for you, right? You just play it, plug it in, and that's it. Um, obviously, you know, it's if it stops working, you might take it to go repair it, or you might look up a tutorial online on how to fix it. And yeah, there you go, you fixed it. And but you know, it still has issues and different things like that. You might want to consider getting a PS5. Um, like I said, if it, if you're really having troubles with it, you might have overheating. You might your 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 fan might sound like a jet engine. But let's say the PS4 still works perfectly fine. You don't mind that too much. You know to go drop like $500 for a PS5, then yeah, just wait it out, just wait it out. I recommend you waiting it out for at least a year or two, because let's be honest, the games for the PS4, there's still there's still gonna be games for the PS4, let's be honest, right? Like this year's games, like I think, what is it, Call of Duty, is it Cold War? That's for the PS5 and the PS4, Watch Dogs Legion, PS5, PS4, uh, the Spider-Man, what is it, Miles Morales or something like that, that's PS5 and PS4. You see what I'm going with, right? Like, the PS4 still has some life to it, believe it or not, and it will for a couple of years. Obviously, eventually, it's gonna start dying down, but I think for the next two years, your PS4 will still have enough life for you to be able to play pretty, a lot of the decent games. Obviously, over time, some exclusives will definitely not be coming to the PS4. That is normal, the PS5 will start getting everything. Um, you'll start, when you go to the store, more accessories for the PS5, no more PS4s, especially when it starts selling down. And it's just gonna get upgraded, man. Everything's gonna get updated. The PS4s are still, I'm not correct, being made still. Because people, people, some people buy PS4s. Like, I remember my dad bought me a PlayStation 2 when the PlayStation 3 had come out. Like, the two, the two slim, the slim, the PlayStation 2 slim. And I enjoyed that, that console very well. I still have it. Because it, you know, it played games, did what I wanted to do. It had a lot of good games under its belt. And I had a great time. I didn't complain. Um, obviously, I ended up switching, like I said, to the PC. I never really played a lot of consoles after that. Um, and I kind of lost that console feeling. But I definitely want to get back to it. Anyways, back to the whole PlayStation 4, 5 thing. Um, yeah, if you're... Now, if your console... If you got it like a couple years ago, let's say this year, last year, the year before that, 
So 2018, 2019, 2020, 2017, 2016, who knows, right? And your console is still working pretty fine. You know, let's say you have buyer's remorse if you got it the last two years, because let's be honest, I know a lot of people are gonna definitely have it. I, I was about to have it. I was about to get a PS4 last year, around Black Friday, because it was like $299. And this year was the same. There was a sale on 2.99, and I was gonna get it. It had three games. It was the PS4, the one terabyte. It was just the pro, like the normal one. It wasn't like the Pro or the Slim. But I'm so glad I didn't get it because um, for that little weight that I gave, I was able to um, save like what, like what, three hundred dollars? Three hundred dollars for a place from a PlayStation 4? Because yeah, sure. I mean, you know, it was the console then, but now it's a new one. And it's only been like two years since it released, like since, you know, if, if you got it. Um, so not a lot of people are going to be hating themselves for it, and just don't. Because um, I know, like I said, there's still going to be some games for it, so you still have at least a good two years to use your pretty new machine. Um, or you can always sell it, because I know there's always going to be a market for PS5, PS4s, right? I mean, I know there's a market for PlayStation 3s still, there's still a market for PlayStation 2s and 1s. To be honest with you, you're not going to lose a lot of value off your console, okay? Especially with the PlayStation 4 that was a big, big seller. You had a bunch of games for it. I know those things are going to keep selling. So if you want to keep hanging on to yours for a while, until they're scarce and there's no more left, um, I predict the value of the PS4 going actually up over the years. Not right now, obviously. Right now it's going to start going down. Uh, especially re in retail stores, you're going to definitely see the price of the going down. I actually might purchase one myself just to keep in the box because I never got to own one, right? And I, I miss that having that feeling and I know a lot of my friend most of my friends have PS4s literally so that's why I was like you know what I'm gonna get a PS5 and I think that's really what you should look at if you know if your PS4 still runs okay just leave it you know you might get bullied on a little bit for having a PS4 hi oh, you don't got a PS5 if it's still good just use it you know what I mean it's like people um, a lot of people that have like iPhone 6s man like hey if it still works it still works all right, let them leave them alone. They don't want to switch it. They don't want to g upgrade. I mean, it still does what they want it to do. And I know a lot of people that do that, and it's perfectly fine. I don't blame them. It's actually less waste for the environment, and it's just saving them money on the long run because they can actually get something. They can wait for something actually decent that will actually help them. And I know a lot of people that just switch every to every you know every generation. Oh, I got a PS3, PS4, and then PS5. That is fine too. I know a lot of people do that, and I don't blame them. I mean, hey. If you have the economical resources to do so, um, then do as you wish. Maybe you might switch to Xbox this, this generation. Who knows, right? Um, personally, I'm just going to stay PlayStation 5. But, yeah, hopefully I covered most of these little things that I just keep thinking about. Um, and, yeah, if you have a PS4, if it still works, just wait a year or two. And there's a big reason, too. Um, obviously, there's going to be problems. I just, I, just, oh, I just know it. I just, from the top of my head, I know... The PlayStations are gonna might have some issues, right? Um, like overheating issues over time. Not right now, but over time, you know, the discs might, the disc readers might not work as properly. Even though I expect PlayStation and Sony to have done a good job, because I mean they they have experience on this stuff, right? I mean you would expect them to have tested this stuff for years, and they should know everything down, every problem down, like you know what's gonna go down. But um, Every, every console generation, there's different models of certain devices, different versions. So let me show you here. Uh, here's another console I have. Oh boy. Oh shoot. An original Xbox. It's a little dirty, but this bad boy still works. It's still running great. And back here we have a sticker. Um, it's not going to focus. It's this sticker right here. The, the, the flash does not let it focus. I'm going to read it to you though. So, manufacturing date. 2002, okay. Um... The day was, the month was, that's March, so the 19th of March of 2002, this device was manufactured, uh, and it gave me a serial number and product ID. Now, the thing, I, I'm telling you this is because, um, at least I know Sony and PlayStation, I don't know about DS's, I don't think DS's have their manufacturing dates on the back, they might have it, I'm, I'm just stupid, but... Um, Xboxes and PlayStations tend to have the dates of their manufacturing date on the back. That date tells you a lot about the device. Like, if your device is launched, it's going to tell you manufactured 2020 and then a specific month. Um, the, this, why is this a big reason? A lot of people um, want to wait until Sony irons out any problems that can show up, right? Because 
Sony will do this, right? I mean, um, there's a lot of people that mod consoles for fun, you know, and I'm not talking like, you know, mod to, like, for games. They do it, well, they do it for games. It's like, um, let's say you want to play your PlayStation 2 games on your PS5, but obviously PlayStation doesn't have any way of doing so. Well, someone can mod, make, a, make, <laughs> make something to mod the PlayStation 5 so that you can play your PS2 games without having to pay anything, right? Without having to, you're just connecting a hard drive and it works. So obviously PlayStation, the Sony, it has a, a good interest into patching this stuff because they don't want that. They don't want people to explain their console. So they're gonna patch it and patch it and patch it and patch it. And with those patches, they obviously change different things. They change the, um, the models. They do different things to them. They put different um, disc readers, let's say disc readers. I know like the Xboxes have a bunch of different disc readers for the different generate models that they made. And yeah, when I was a, uh, you know, that's why I would just wait until they iron out any issues, um, unless you want your device to be modded in the future, and I know those sell for a lot of money eventually, they start, the, the, the price goes up because they are moddable, they are able to be modded, and yeah, but if you don't worry about that, if you just want a good, decent console that will last you until the next possible generation, you know, just wait it out a year or two. I got mine this year because I just wanted one. I was like, you know what? I've never had a PS5, and either way, it has a year warranty on it. So, I mean, whatever happens, happens. And either way, it's not going to lose a lot of its value if it breaks down because I can most likely fix it, or if not, just sell it on eBay for about the same price. All right, guys. So, the one point that I actually forgot, I was just editing the video, and I completely forgot, was that older, older consoles have games up to, like, the next generation, right? And a lot of consoles have games that last a long time. Like, um, the PlayStation 3's last game was made this year, 2020. Um, Xbox 360, that was, I think, last year. The Wii, that yeah, was this year, I think it was. Um, but I'll, I'll leave you the pictures of the screenshots. And yeah, that's just telling you that even, I mean, they're not popular games, games that were released, but even then, there's still going to be games for the PS4, so there's still hope. You should just keep it for a while, you know, have fun with it. And then eventually, you know, when you just had enough or it's just broken or you just want something new, you can definitely go get it when there is enough in stock, when the problems have been ironed out. Maybe you might not even like want a PlayStation because, you know, there might be problems with it. You might want to switch to, um, to Xbox, which is perfectly fine, but that is just another way for you to know, right? So, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you liked um, what I talked about. Hopefully I was able to... Um, make a good argument, I don't know, I don't know, honestly, I'm, I just woke up, and you know, you know how it is, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.